We're starting the video off pretty strong. No, it's not Eric pouring a cup of coffee in the morning. Believe it or not, this is gonna be a different video. We're starting off strong with something delicious and nutritious. These nuts! Okay, that's the last time I'm ever gonna do that. What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys are doing well. Welcome to the video, guys. I am going to be attempting the largest ever sugar challenge ever, ever, well, that I've ever done tomorrow. So that being said, I wanted to actually make a video and kind of just take you guys through the day before and the day after I do a challenge. The challenge is for Halloween, so I'm not gonna actually post it until next week. I get a lot of questions about what I do around these calorie challenges and these, these food challenges that I do, so this is gonna be more of like a, I guess, informative video for you guys. And uh, I'll still be getting the same questions, but whatever, I'll just put this up there. So without further ado, Let's get to the video. A few moments later. Well guys, after my <clears throat> mountain of nuts, it's time to make dinner. Alrighty, so all my OG subscribers will know exactly what I'm about to make. A gigantic salad. We are on Instagram doing a little live stream right now. All right guys, so, ooh, awkward angle. So kind of like a roasted slash raw cabbage salad that I made many times. Now cabbage is great for stretching the stomach capacity and uh, when I plan on doing I guess big challenges or challenges that I know I'm gonna have like a lot of stomach space I need to fill or I need to like kind of stretch my stomach a little bit. I usually down about a head or two of cabbage the night before. Just kind of gets things nice and uh, stretched. Not to mention this salad is freaking delicious. Moments later. <sighs> well, it gets to be about 10 at night and I do what I do every night. I sit here on my couch and I think, you know what? I have a cereal poster on my wall. I have a cereal box staring at me on top of my refrigerator right now. There's Jeepers Creepers on TV. It's time for some good old cereal. You guys, come on, you know me. Well, what else would I be eating? Before I really get into this cereal, I just want to give a big shout out to Lucy M from uh, the UK who sent me all that delicious, 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 delicious candy. She also sent some cereal too. This is Honey Peanut Crunch from Simply Scrumptious. I can smell it from here and I know it's gonna be amazing. Simply Scrumptious, talk about simply amazing. Look at that, dark chocolate flakes in here. Gosh, this stuff alone is making me just want to book a flight to Europe. Easy, easy eight out of 10. The next day. It's game time, baby! Alrighty guys, it took us about two hours to get done with that ride. It's time to consume a lot of sugar. Woo! Moments later. Composure, composure. Everyone, it is uh, challenge day. It is 101 degrees outside. Just got done riding my bike. I'm talking way too fast because I've had way too much caffeine, even though this is only like 50 milligrams. I'm probably gonna be doing some overhead press and I might do some light legs. I'm really going to not like how much sugar I'm going to put into my body in a few hours, but you know what? Things you do for YouTube. This is gonna hurt a lot. Screw it, it's Halloween, come on. So uh, the hot and ready sign's on. You know this is gonna be a good challenge. Thanks man, I appreciate it. Have a good day. I'm so excited. I kinda like the way it sounds. Trick or cheat. <sighs> Would you look at all that awesome food? Just, can you? Oh, cardiologists love him, right? Moments later. <laughs> All 
right, before you guys say anything, this is the most I've ever blown up after a challenge. Oh, ever. The monkey is just, disg he's disgusted with me right now. Food baby time. Oh yeah. I should definitely be appearing on the next uh, season of Baywatch. Killing it right now. Look at these swole abs right here. Abs of steel, bro. Abs of steel. Unfortunately, I'm stupid and I didn't really take any before shots, but who cares? I mean, this is just a work of art, right? The next day. Since I have you guys here, I can tell you that it's the day after. And it's raining outside. It sucks when it's raining outside in San Diego. That was a terrible, terrible idea. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. That was one of the dumbest things I've ever done. And get out of here. And get out of here. Oh, dude. All right, guys, so it's the next morning right now, and I kind of wanted to show you physique-wise what happened, how I look, and all of that. So this is what around 10 hours difference looks like. So the bloating kind of sticks around for a good two days to three days afterwards. Obviously, I'm still bloated. And, uh... Yeah, but most of the water weights kind of subsided. Now keep in mind guys, I naturally have a distended stomach just from um, the amount of food that I've eaten and still eat on a daily basis. So my, that's why my stomach is abnormally large. This is just me saying team no abs checking in. All right, so probably not the greatest idea in the world, but if, if for those of you who don't know, and probably a lot of you watching this probably don't care, I released a video, I'd say about three or four months ago. I actually still go through pretty bad hypothyroidism, so I'm actually still working to correct that. I got on some medication, but uh, obviously I'm still gaining weight on medication, which is kind of uh, baffling to my doctor, so <laughs> I'm going to get my thyroid tested right now I'm still working through a lot of issues including chronic fatigue severe lack of sleep still feeling pretty cold all the time My temperatures are still in the low 97s when I wake up and in the middle of the day Which is really concerning so I'm still battling some of the effects I'm going to be getting blood work done right now So I'm gonna carry on with the rest of the day and I'll take you with me of course Ooh. I could have like placed this right here. I could just be acting surprised just to like act for you guys, but I honestly had no idea this is here, but I, I don't want to open this right now. I'm gonna save this for later. I'm really excited though. I'm just not so excited to go get blood right now. All right, let's see what we ordered. Free T4, hemoglobin, DHEA, sulfate, cortisol. Very happy that we got cortisol, thyroid stimulating hormone, progesterone, insulin, estradiol, testosterone, CBC, the usual stuff. Uh, the next time you guys see me, I'm probably gonna have one of those things on my arm. All right, so we got the badge of, uh, let's just call it the badge. That's all done, now it's time to go lift. Eric, you're gonna go lift after you give blood? Guys, it's not that big of a deal. In fact, I'm used to riding my bike and lifting after getting blood. Live like a masochist or don't live at all, okay? Get with the program. All right guys, so here's the deal. I have been in this room, well, let me just say, I've been going to this gym for probably about four years now, and before I get into this, I'll wait for somebody to walk right in and wonder why I'm talking to a camera, but. So I don't take a lot of time to really talk about my own past and my own recovery, my journey really, that I've, I've been through. All, we, and we all have a journey, guys. We all have uh, times that we've gone through. We all, have, we all have past events that have shaped us, that have made us into who we are today, as cliche as that sounds. But I really wanna let you guys know that usually something that I talk a lot about on my second channel, but I don't really wanna like censor myself because I feel like I have a message to spread to everyone. I have a message, I have a story to tell. And I just, I've got an overwhelming amount of uh, emails, a lot of Snapchats, a lot of uh, messages, a lot of just people reaching out to me over the past few days slash week, telling me how much their story meant to them. I even had a mother contact me uh, a, a few days ago, telling me that her son was in the hospital with anorexia and that she wanted me to give him a call and personally reach out to him. Uh, for that, I'm actually gonna be doing that this weekend. And it, it just means so much to me. Like when I got that message, it was so monumental to me. It was, uh, it told me that I needed to be more vocal about my own uh, my own story, my own recovery. And for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about right now, I am a person who dealt with anorexia, very, very severe anorexia. I got down to about 115 pounds at my worst. I went through years upon years of therapy. I kind of had to rebuild myself, and that's exactly what 
I'm doing right now. Earlier this year, I fell into some old habits, but I picked myself up and I decided that I didn't want to live like that anymore. I didn't want to feel shitty every day. I didn't want to keep thinking about food. I didn't want to keep letting food dominate my life. I wanted to get strong again. I wanted to do so many other things with my life, and this is just one of those things. I'm used to people telling me, I'm used to people judging me, I'm used to people telling me I'll never do something with my life. I'm used to people telling me I look like shit. I'm used to people telling me everything, guys. I it it it, <laughs> it really doesn't face me anymore. If you want to make a comment on the video telling me I'm fat or I'm skinny fat, I'm stupid, I'm retarded, all this stuff, guys, it, it it's 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 literally just people behind a keyboard now. And I I faced a lot of hardship in my life, and I'm blessed and fortunate enough right now to to be able to have a family that supports me, that loves me, that encourages me, that wants the best for me. And I want you guys to know that you have that support from me. If you're somebody that's dealing with anorexia, depression, OCD, any sort of mental disorder that there is, we can always reach out to somebody. I posted up my blood work and I posted up the results that I got when I, I it took my, I got my blood taken back then and uh, the results weren't good. It said I was hypothyroid and I really started to, to really, I guess, fixate on getting my health a lot better. I feel a lot better now that it's about four or five months later. I, I feel like I, I started to get my life back on track and I started to gain strength. But people still always make comments about the way I look, the way I act, the way I talk. If you don't like the way I look, the way I act, or the way I talk, get over it, because it's gonna stay that way. And the same goes for you watching this video right now. If you have anybody in your life that doubts you or thinks you can't do something, that tells you you can't do something because of the way you look or the way you act, laugh at them and walk away. For me, that means laughing and uh, just shutting off my computer. <laughs> Seriously. Now, there are probably going to be those people that go, Eric, you're hypothyroid. It's, it's, it's because of all the food challenges, my man. It's, it's because you're stuffing all those calories into your body. That's why. Unfortunately, guys, that's not really how the thyroid works. You see, for the past, mm, let's say, seven to eight years, I was constantly doing hours upon hours of cardio to stay at a weight that was pretty much unsustainable, a body fat level that was unsustainable. So it's going to take some time for those to get better. I realize that. At times, I get very frustrated because I feel like I should be... I guess getting better, but four or five months versus six to seven years of damage, I can't expect things to get better overnight. And it's not the cause of the food challenges, actually. When you suffer from hypothyroidism, you actually kind of want to be in more of a refeeding phase, which means eating more food. People go hypothyroid for a lot of reasons, but hypothyroidism, in my case, resulted from too few calories and too much cardio. So I am trying to fix that right now. So everybody, I admittedly was in a little bit of a dilemma the more I thought about it because I want to tell my story more to you guys. I want to show you guys more about my recovery and just talk about it more because of, like I said earlier, how many people have messaged me and emailed me about what I've been through. I mean, it's not just the past week I've gotten them. It's for the past few years. And that's a goal of mine that I've really wanted to be more vocal about everything. So that's kind of the struggle I'm in right now. Do I just make this channel about food challenges and make it about me showing you guys my uh, odd talent? Or do I make it about a little bit of both? Because there's a kind of a trade-off on YouTube. If you want to grow as a channel, you kind of have to stick to one thing, one niche. I don't really want to do that. Who knows? I'll make a decision sooner or later. Until then, enjoy the silly gym videos and me attempting to get strong. And I know you guys are going to enjoy these big-ass food challenges that I do. Check me out on social media if you guys haven't already. It's a check. <laughs> I just messed that up. Follow me on my social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Check me out on Patreon if you haven't already. It's a great way for you guys to support me as a YouTube creator, and it helps out the channel. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I really gotta change this up. Go eat some candy, but make sure you go right up.